The concept in this garden was a native woodland garden. So many of the plants that are used in the garden are plants that you'll see grow native in the hedgerows. One of the first plants that you'll see here is beech. Beech has many uses in, in, in landscaping. You can plant beech as a tree, let it grow into a large tree, or you can plant beech as a hedge. You can train it to whatever height you like. You can let it grow into a quite a, a large hedge up to uh, three meters in height or so, or you can train it down to maybe two to two and a half feet. An easy hedge to grow has a number of important requirements. It must have dry soil, it grows quite well in dry soil, and also, of course, it's an ideal plant where the soil is limey or alkaline, provided it's not too alkaline. It will grow much better if you fertilize it or put a farmyard manure under the plants when you're planting, or compost, in fact, under them. Don't let the compost come in contact with either the roots if you're planting bare root. Uh, with container planting, it's better to keep particularly farmyard manure away from the roots as well. It is deciduous and when the leaves die, die off, the leaves will remain on the plant over the winter months. So you will have, in fact, you'll have green foliage all through the summer and you will have the brown or decayed foliage on the stems right through the winter months. An excellent woodland plant, an ideal garden plant as well and it makes an excellent garden hedge. The next native woodland plant I want to talk about is Helix aquifolium, or the holly. Um, holly is a native woodland plant. You will find it in many hedgerows right throughout the country. It loves our climate, grows very well in a wet climate, so it's perfect for, for Irish conditions. Of course, holly can be trained into various shapes. It can be trained into pyramids, as you will see here in this garden, but it can also be trained as a hedge. Holly, in fact, makes an excellent hedge. It is a plant that likes humus and fairly rich soil to grow and to thrive. You can buy many different varieties of holly. You can buy holly like Elix aquifolium that has green foliage and berries over a considerable period of time. An excellent plant at Christmas time. Uh, you can buy the golden holly, Ilex Golden King, another excellent plant for a hedge in the garden. Of course, all hollies then, you can grow them as individual trees. So they have many uses in the garden and they will make a standout feature in any garden. The fern that we have in this garden is the Japanese tassel fern. A very popular fern and an ideal plant in a garden. Here you see it in a woodland garden. Um, easy to grow, provided again you provide the right conditions. It likes moist, rich soil and it likes a shaded environment. Ferns need shade or partial shade, so that's one of the prerequisites of growing ferns fairly well. Otherwise, they're relatively easy to grow. You ideally plant them in groups because in their natural habitat you usually find ferns in, in, in mass planting or in mass groups. So if you're planting ferns, plant a minimum of three or four. My advice to people when they're using native plants, particularly trees and particularly large hedgerow plants, make sure they have adequate space for them to grow. They are vigorous by nature, so they require space. If you don't have space, you're obviously going to have to trim them and keep them maintained. So there's a high maintenance element involved with them then. 